Great guys, this is Miro Fido Josh Toyo Kanin. How are you today? It's nice and sunny where I am, North California. Woo! How's your day going so far? I hope it's doing good. Mine is so busy! I'm so busy! But it's great because it keeps me awake. Maybe later I'll fall asleep. Okay. Ha! I'm not wearing my uniform today. I took it off. It's a little warm. We're on our way to work. So what did we do today at the class? We did a bunch of things. There was a lot of things covered today. But I'm just gonna go gloss over what we talked about. Today the main topic was fluids. Automotive fluids. What kind of fluids are in your car or your... Mr. Cookie handed out little tiny Gerber, Gerber uh, bottle jars that has different kinds of fluid inside. And he had us guess what we think some of them are. Good mechanic, I don't know nothing. Um, except one of them looked familiar. I thought it was maple syrup. No, it was not. It was engine oil. It was golden brown. Nice and syrupy when you shake it. And it'll have bubbles if you go super shake it. Coolant. We have some engine oil. We have brake fluid, which is super important. I was just chatting with somebody yesterday in Facebook about brake fluid. This one girl was asking, Hey, I just changed something something. I think she changed the brakes, the brake pads. And then she's asking if she needs to bleed. <laughs> bleed the thingy. I commented, being the nice guy I am. I said, this is not a viable comment. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a student of automotive. I have never heard of this. And then some nice gentleman in that same thread explained to me what they were talking about. But just want to say thank you to just some random people who was in there. It was from uh, my Facebook group, Vallejo Happiness. Today, Mr. Cookie went on about why bleeding and stuff like that. And I wanted to say, hey, I was just talking about that with somebody in Facebook. But, uh, you know, I don't need to share that and take time from my class. So, what else do we have? What other fluids are there? Did you guys know that grease, that icky sticky thing, is actually a part of the fluid system? It's, a, it's considered a fluid. I did not know that. I've actually forgotten that there's grease in cars. Awesome. So there's grease. It was kind of reddish. She said it comes in red and blue. For some reason, I'm remembering brown. Maybe that's cheap grease? Uh, I'm, I don't know. Maybe industry standard in the last 15 years. All right. We have uh, automatic transmission liquid fluid. Not liquid. We have, what's this to say? Let me turn first. We have a differential oil and... One of the last things that was, it looked like blue Listerine or mouthwash. And when you shake it, it bubbles. Um, I wish I took it so I could have shown you guys what it looked like. Basically, it is car wash. Huh? Car wash. The stuff that you use to wash your vehicle. Awesome. Also, Mr. Cookie recommends, and he's very tough on this one, do not use soap detergent. Why? Because it's super strong and super effective. It will kill your wax. All that beautiful hard work that you put in putting on your wax, it's not gone, man. If you don't use that, man, just buy some real car wash. It's not that expensive. So, that's what we did. That's what we talked about in class. And then eventually, he gave us some task sheets. And we had a bunch of task sheets. One of the things we had to do was oil change, which was really cool. We got to work on uh, an ancient PT Cruiser, 2005, year 2005 PT Cruiser. And um, I just got a quick question about PT Cruisers, man. Who loves that car? Who loves that car? Seriously. If you like PT Cruisers, I'm gonna give you free stickers, man. Put a leave a comment if you like it. I'll give you a sticker, man. But um, yeah, in my class, I don't think anyone raised their hand, and everyone in my group was backing on the fact that we were oil changing a PT Cruiser, and they're like, "What's the point?" Well, I mean, obviously the point is to learn, but I mean, they got really iffy. Iffy is the word I'll use. Iffy about the PT Cruiser. No one likes these cars. I don't know why. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, they said the specs aren't really good, the car looks really fugly, stuff like this, stuff like that. I'm hearing it again and again, but I, I, I want some real, I want some online comments about this. 
who loves speedy cruisers and if you don't tell me why too put it in a comment hit it up <coughs> so I'm gonna put some couple of videos over here of us doing the oil changes here's some oil change video not the whole thing because it might be illegal for me to post this but here's a couple of clips of us doing it uh, our guy Ahmed Ahmed was kind of taking lead and it was really good I love seeing him take a lead on this one um, it's part of the experience that he already knows he does this part of his living is doing oil changes and that was really cool um, I got to learn uh, that in oil change you have the obviously the oil and every car has a different um, volume metric of how much quarts or pounds of, uh, of, 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 of um, what's that I saw a car that's a nice that's oil you're supposed to put and when you refill it and then you open up the thingy and the thingy spills out and then you catch it with a thingy yes I'm not using the proper term sorry mr. cookie I know the terms and there's also a part where uh, they uh, uh, mr. cookie um, explain to us that get used get into the habit of when you're working on a vehicle uh, perform a tire pressure check or tire pressure inspection and which we did on our vehicle the poor old retired PT Cruiser 2005 cream off white color uh, and yes here's a question for y'all how many car how many tires are in a vehicle go ahead I'll wait Oh, it's very traffic, so I'll wait. I'll give you a second more. Five. The answer is five. It's usually five. Why five, Josh? There's a spare in the back, somewhere in the back. Ah! Yeah, you have to count even the spare. It counts as a tire, even though they usually give you a really, really bad size, crappy, undersized, unappreciated spare. All right, that's five. So, I tire pressured. I check the tire pressure on all four, and then I detach my tire pressure rope my gauge and I put everything back and then I realized I have a fifth one I forgot about as I was writing it down so in the back open the PT cruiser the back the hatchback shh mm, no tires and I tried pulling the thingy the floor mat it does not go away but I did not push on it too hard and then I realized there's a little nut on the lower right side and I'm like hmm curious I went ask what the lab technician it was mark Mark gave me a hint and say, did you check under the car? I'm like, hmm. So I did, I checked under the car. I saw the, I saw the tire under, the fifth tires under the vehicle, which is weird because somebody also brought it up to me that it's usually SUVs that has that. Ooh. So, but then again, in all the rules, in all the policies and thingies, there's always that exception. So that's, there's always an exception. Nothing is written in stone, except some things are. But then even then, some things get washed away and the rules are not wishy-washy. It doesn't change that much. But there's always an exception to the rule. There's always an exception to the rule. Just like they probably would should start giving a law that we should not be recording videos while we're driving. But there's always going to be an exception to the rule. All right. <sighs> Forgive me. It's getting really hot around here. Let me turn on my... My, my wind some more okay there you go good fan good job good. <sighs> so it took me forever well not forever but a couple more times of figuring out where that fifth tire was and how I, what I needed to open it up it was cool I got to use a torque wrench ooh, and a socket I won't tell you the size because I don't remember I didn't write it down I'm sorry I should probably do that next time so I would remember so I used a socket Chrome socket, I chrome it in I there, it and I got a torque wrench. And after a few hundred click clicks, yep. it actually hey, opened up. It loosened the thingy, and at the bottom, I was able to just push it up with a tire, turn something, and it went right out. I took it out. It was a dirty old tire, super dirty. It had gravel and dead spiders and whatnot. Probably chicken bones in it too. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to go wipe that down man all right we clean it uh, look for the thingy do a tire pressure gauge on it it was about 35 psi which i was also told it was weak it should be around 50 or 60. Ooh. Mm. this part i can remember but if you go to the class take some tests Ooh. that part i need to study but then you know you know, keep studying studying some more oh right there there's a ford focus nice it says RS. Is it Focus RS? How come it's not red? 
or Ford S. Let's take a look. I don't know. All right, what else did we do? Okay, I'm gonna quickly just say say the other tasks that we accomplished today. We check the windshield wipers. Also check out the windshield while we're there. We did a fluid check on the vehicle, the PD Cruiser, and then we did some belts and hoses. And when we say hose, there's a few different ones. It's the one protecting where the liquids go transfer. Hoses get swelled up, they get cracked. You gotta watch out for that. Um, and then the engine oil, where it goes to open it, close it, belts. Um, and then the one of the things is the accessories, drive belt inspection. That one I didn't get to do because we were too busy having fun and changing stuff and just learning very, very meticulous mates and my group mates that I get too excited and I kind of fixate and just try to learn the ins and out of just one or two things mainly. And I think it's important that, you know, you don't learn all of it, but you learn the quality, like, you know, quality over quantity is my thing, I guess. Um, because I really, really am into these things and I want, just want to, like, learn it 100%. It's not the case. But look at that. It's super traffic. We are 37 right now. I am running out of time. Thank you so much for being here and watching and listening to this video. So, you guys know any other type of fluids in your vehicle? That I did not talk about. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna talk some more videos. Here's some more videos for y'all. Uh, things that we did. And yeah, it was the five tires PT Cruiser. If you guys like that car, hit me a comment. Tell me why. If you guys don't like it, let me know too. I mean, I want to get a dialogue going. What's up with PT Cruisers? Bye bye.